How many times have you taken a call from a prospect, scheduled an appointment, and they show up there on property and they're broke? They can't afford the apartment. Is that frustrating? I know it's frustrating for you, but listen, this video is a bit of a trick question and I just want you to hear me out. Stick with me for one second. One of the biggest mistakes that leasing agents and property managers make is assuming that the prospect in front of them is either broke or can't afford the apartment way too early. Listen, I get it. I'm with you. I agree a hundred percent with you. Sometimes, sometimes we have prospects that cannot afford the apartment, but as time goes by and as technology gets better and as there's more and more information available to renters out there, I'm going to let you know this. More and more of your prospects knew what the price of the apartment was before they ever even picked up the phone and called you. And one of the biggest mistakes that we make as leasing agents is we prejudge our prospects. We prejudge them on how they look. We prejudge them on how they dress. More importantly, we prejudge them on how they respond to us during the presentation during the tour while we're showing and selling them that apartment. And I can tell you this, this is one of the biggest mistakes that you're going to make. It's human nature. You're going to create a judgment on somebody within the first few seconds of meeting them. But I need you to fight that urge to judge whether or not they can afford the apartment. Sometimes, those prospects, most of the time, not sometimes, most of the time, those prospects that are pushing back on you and like, oh, I ain't got any money, I'm broke, I can't afford it, you want how much for this apartment? Those are the ones that are right on the edge of signing a lease because they're thinking about their pocketbook, they're thinking about their money. So of course, why wouldn't they push back on you? Why wouldn't they act like they're broke? This is standard protocol for a lot of renters. Hey, I'm going to dress down when I go to the property. I'm going to act like I don't have any money. Why? I don't want to be taken advantage of and I want to be able to get the best deal that I can get. So I want to tell you this, when it comes to your prospects being broke or your prospects not having a lot of money, I want your prospects to disqualify themselves during the application process. If you get all the way to the sale using your leasing university techniques and you fill out the application and we cannot qualify them for the apartment because of their income or because of their credit history or whatever reason, hey, at that point, then the deal's off. But please do not prejudge them any time before that. I want you to act as if every single person in front of you not only is qualified, not only has 10 times the money to pay in rent, but is ready to go and lease that apartment. If you treat them with that level of dignity and respect, you are going to find that they're going to be a much easier to prospect to work with. And you are going to be shocked at how many prospects you thought couldn't afford the apartment have way more money and way better credit than you thought they have. And for the very few that we take all the way to the application process, and you know what? They don't qualify. Well, we've just made a friend because we've treated them with dignity and respect. And that could potentially be one of our greatest sources for referrals. Listen, I couldn't afford to live at that property, but I want you to go see Matt. Boy, that guy is great. I really enjoyed working with him. Didn't work out for me, but go see Matt. Or maybe they get a new job or maybe their credit improves. They're going to come see you. So I don't want you to prejudge any of your prospects. And I want you to keep that positive attitude that we talk about over at Leasing University. I want to keep, I want you to keep that energy. I want you to take them through the process and realize this. As we talk about at Leasing University, 98% of the things that you hear and you think are show stopping objections, like I can't afford it are merely complaints. And a lot of those complaints are smoke screens and smoke signals because they don't want to be taken advantage of. Please, I'd love it if you comment below. Comment your thoughts. Comment. I'd love to hear some stories below about a time that somebody looked like they couldn't afford an apartment, 
and boy, you couldn't be further from the truth. And I hope you've subscribed to this channel. It's all about you. It's all about leasing more apartments. I would love it if you take a look at leasinguniversity.com. It's the number one sales training platform for property managers and leasing agents. And my name's Matt Easton. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you subscribed. And until the next video, I want you to be great and I want you to get those leases.